Okay, so let me see if I can zoom in. So you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Alright, so right down there somewhere is like another little dial, but I don't see too many bad capacitors, so I think there might be something right down there that might be bad. I mean, the TV does look a little dirty on the inside, or dusty. It doesn't look like there's anything leaking. It is, well, it's probably been 35 years since this has been open. I don't think this has ever been made since or anything. You got your speaker terminals right here. A very, very cool feature about this TV. We've got a few dials here, and there's a few dials right down there. And I played around with them, but it did not solve any of my issues. So, I don't think there's any down here. Let me see. So I did not check down here. It's 1980s technology built the last and these are the speakers that this thing has and they may not look the greatest on the inside but they actually sound really good and uh, the radiation that's probably coming off of this is insane I'm gonna start going green soon so yeah before I think there's something going on over here which obviously these parts you can't get anymore I think that's called a yoke or something like that. I'm not an expert at this shit, unfortunately. But, yeah. I tried to fix it myself. I tried to look around to see if there's any internal dials that might adjust that. But, there's not much I can do, unfortunately. So, this is the Hitachi. And unfortunately it is on its way out, so there is something written down here. What's this say? It's like a little warning right there. It says discharge or measure something voltage. You know, it's pretty dusty on the inside. There's like a little thing right here. What is this? Obviously that fell off. This high voltage warning. So technically I probably shouldn't be in this TV at all, especially when it's on. Uh, yeah. In order to play around with these little dials though, you have to be really, really careful. Never use like a screwdriver or anything like that. I'm right now wearing these gloves. These probably won't protect me that much from getting electrocuted, to be honest, so... Uh, it's better that I don't kill myself trying to fix it. Uh, this TV... is... on its way out. But uh, let's take a nice 4K look on the inside. And I really don't know what to look for when it comes to things going bad or not. I'm assuming that something over here is going bad. It looks like there is a little bit of corrosion right here. There's something going on that doesn't look good at all. So I can't really tell for sure what that is, but there might be something on the other side there that might be bad. Mm -hmm. It's dusty as hell. Unfortunately, there's really no shop nearby to you know, fix this issue. And what do we got here? These speakers are made in Japan. And they're, they're 55 watts. That's actually pretty good for speakers that are inside of a TV.
And there is like, I don't want to bump into anything here, but these little white things right here, these little caps there sticking out, you can actually twist those. I tried twisting some of those to see if that would actually fix the issue, and uh, again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so I don't want to mess with it too much, but there's also one right over there that's like a silver cap that's sticking out. And so far, uh, the issue still remains, so I'm guessing that there's something going on with the board. Let's take a quick look at this. You got, this is what made this thing unique, is it had an output right here. So I was able to run this to my Elgato and record capture stuff. And I had a, a VCR running in right here and a something else running in right here, like gaming console, speaker terminals right here. I never used those at all. Uh, there is, I guess you have to switch that from external to internal to use the speakers. It's right here. It's like cable mode or probably UHF or something like that. I can't really use that. Oh, I see it right there. Of course, you had the coaxial, and then you had your UHF connection antenna uh, back. When this TV came out, this was probably the most common way of uh, watching your TV back then. Let's get all your cable in. Well, at least we got to go inside and see what the inside of this thing looks like before we get rid of it. So, 35 years old. I did my best to try to, you know, fix the issue. I looked around. Apparently there is ways on, you know, certain little switches and knobs and stuff like that on these old TVs internally that you can fix issues like that. But this one still is having the problems, so my guess is that it's something internal that I can't fix. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that I tried. And that issue still exist right there. So, it's the one last video of the Hitachi right here. So let's take a look at the, uh, the model number. And it was February 8, 1985, so it's practically 1984. 164 watt, that's a lot of power. It's pretty much the power that you get out of like a really, really large flat screen TV nowadays. Do not remove cover. So I did something I wasn't supposed to be doing right there. So yeah, that's it. And it was made in the USA. How about that? Somewhere in here. Compton, California, straight out of Compton. So, poor TV. So awful that, you know, it's coming to an end, but you can't get parts for these TVs anymore, unfortunately. This is actually a pretty rare model. I think, when you look right here, the model number says CT, and I think the CT is for Connecticut. So it might be, my guess, the uh, 2,647th model that was made for the city of Connecticut. That's my guess. I'm not sure. There's a serial number right there. The serial number also indicates that, actually, no, the model number, I am not sure. That might not be for Connecticut. The serial number actually speaks more of the truth of that might be only 411 of these models made prior to this TV. So yeah, there wasn't too many of these models that exist. So this might be number 411 on the assembly line. So yeah, there's definitely not an abundant amount of parts available unlike the Sony, so it's unfortunate, but yeah. I have to say goodbye. I'm going to dispose of the TV properly. Uh, it will be recycled and handled properly so it's not going to be abandoned and dumped. 
like some people do, like throw their TVs out on the side of the road. Uh, this will be handled properly. I'm actually going to recycle it over at Best Buy. Now down here, there's another date right here. I didn't even notice that until now. December or something, 1984. That's weird. I don't know what these stamps mean. There is certain stamps around here. I guess all. In a... Yeah, there's nothing really internal over here. That's the good thing to say that cone looks like. You can see that this is real wood. And that's it. So long, Hitachi CRT. Uh, eventually, we'll be getting something else. Just gotta hold off for a little bit. And I had it right there, but we'll put something else over there.